the 2021 model here marks the finalization of Chevrolet's lineup. A great portion of passenger cars has been discontinued, and now just a handful of those is mixed among the endless list of crossovers, gigantic SUVs, and hardworking pickup trucks that remain the bread and butter of the entire brand. Today's video about Chevy's roster will kick off the 2021 playlist about the upcoming vehicles from car makers around the world, specifically its USA segment. So subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News to refresh your knowledge about the newest autos out there. Ring the notification bell and let's start the engines. Chevrolet Suburban This full-size giant is entering the 12th generation in 2021, riding on the fresh GMT T1XX platform with 98% of all new components. Just as the rest of its corporate siblings, the Suburban benefits from an independent rear suspension, which could be enhanced with magnetic ride control or replaced altogether by the adjustable four-corner air suspension for the first time in the industry. The selection of powertrains includes a 5.3-liter V8, a 6.2-liter V8, or a new diesel ranging between 277 and 420 horsepower. The 2021 Suburban is the largest and the most tech-advanced version of itself, gaining 5 inches in wheelbase and offering a head-up display, a 10-inch Chevrolet infotainment system, dual 12.6-inch rear screens, and strong safety systems. Chevrolet Corvette Stingray C8 For nearly seven years of its existence, the Corvette was a front-engine and a front-mid-engine sports car. But in 2020, it finally took a true mid-engine form, which was once imagined by Zora Arkastantov. Powered by an enormous LT2 6.2-liter V8, the C8 coupe and convertible yield 490 horsepower and 465 pound-feet, channeled to the rear wheels be an 8-speed dual clutch by Tramac. As per Chevy, those vets equipped with the C51 package get a 5-point power and torque pump and get to 16 pH within 2.9 seconds. Starting from 2021, the company expands the availability of the top-of-the-line magnetic selective ride control suspension beyond the mentioned package and adds new exterior color schemes, standard wireless smartphone connectivity, and a buckle-to-drive safety feature. Chevrolet Tahoe For the last 20 years, the Tahoe has been the best-selling full-size SUV in the United States, and to stay competitive, it now enters the fifth generation with a redesigned exterior, three new trims, optional 3.0-liter turbo diesel, and a 5-inch longer wheelbase. The latter allows to increase the legroom for the third-row passengers by 10 inches and gives the SUV the maximum cargo volume of 123 cubic feet. The 5.3-liter V8, delivering 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque, is the base engine for the first five trims, while the bigger 6.2-liter V8, with 420 HP and 460 pound-feet, is standard on the range topping high country. All the engines come with a 10-speed automatic and a choice of rear or four-wheel drive. Finally, the long-needed independent rear suspension is standard across all trims. Now is a perfect time to smash the like button if you're enjoying our content and would like to see the 2021 lineup reviews coming. Thank you for your support and let's get back to the episodes. Chevrolet Trailblazer Once known as a body-on-frame mid-size SUV, the Trailblazer returns to the US market, but this time as an entirely new model. Instead of a rugged construction and a beefy V8 engine, the 2021 car boasts subcompact dimensions, modern styling, and lots of tech features. As standard, the Trailblazer comes powered by a combo of a 1.2-liter turbo 
a CVT and front wheel drive. But starting from the second LS trim, you can upgrade for the all wheel drive that goes hand in hand with a slightly bigger 1.3 liter engine and a 9 speed automatic gearbox. The former setup gets you 137 HP and 162 pound feet, while the latter bumps the output to 155 horses and 174 pound feet. Regardless of the chosen trim level and propulsion system, all of the crossovers are equipped with a Chevy Safety Assist package that includes such progressive features as automatic emergency and pedestrian braking, forward collision alert, and lane keep assist. Chevrolet Colorado Though technically not an official facelift, the lineup of Colorado is still being slightly reconfigured and some models are wearing freshened up fronts. The entry-level trim has been discontinued and the buyers now get access to four clearly distinguishable models WT, LT, Z71 and ZR2, which unfortunately means that the cheapest Colorado that you can buy these days makes a $4,000 price hike. The visual changes are visible in the redesigned and lowered grills, which carry some resemblance with the Silverado. The pickup gets new skid plates and new standard 17-inch wheels. For now, we should assume that the engine's lineup will remain unchanged. It is represented by a base 2.5-liter four-cylinder with 200 horses, a 3.6-liter V6 with 308, and a 2.8-liter Duramax diesel with 186 HP. Chevrolet Equinox The Equinox is already the best-selling 5-seater model in the company's range. But in the upcoming year, Chevy decided to give it a one more boost. It comes in the form of a slightly revised exterior styling for the entire Equinox lineup and the newly introduced RS trim that will suit the fans of sportier designs. All models, both more aggressive grills, new LED headlights and updated bumpers, both front and rear. The RS adds a blacked-out trim, new 19-inch wheels, also in black, and a catchier interior with black upholstery and red stitching. Chevy did not mess with the crossover's engine selection, so you still get the choice of a 1.5-liter turbo paired with a 6-speed automatic or a 2-liter turbo mated to a 9-speed gearbox. Both are offered in front and all-wheel drive configurations. Chevrolet Silverado Special Editions In the period between 2019 and 2020, the Silverado lineup went through full redesign. But despite its freshness, the interest in the models is still being fueled by the two new Special Editions. Among their shared features are the standard Z71 off-road package, which incorporates twin two branch of shocks, protective skid plates, and hill descent control. The heavy-duty HD behemoth was worked on by the Carhartt designers, who painted it in the mosaic black metallic with yellow accents and reflected the same color scheme on the leather upholstery with added badging on the inside. In turn, the full-size Silverado takes advantage of the real tree Chevrolet collaboration, which transforms the model into an ultimate vehicle for a true fisherman. Chevrolet Traverse Available from the third quarter of 2021, this 8 seater SUV becomes more aligned with the rest of the Chevy's lineup. It is adopting a suburban-like front and rear fascias, plus the commanding appearance is reinforced by four new wheel designs. There are revised signature thin LED head and taillights, plus turn signals are now integrated into the DRLs. The interior gets updated seating options, and the list of available features now includes a dual Skyscape two-panel roof with a rear power sunshade. The in-cabin tech package was expanded with wireless Apple and Android capability 
a tension infotainment, wireless charging, and USB ports for all three rows. All trims arrive with a set of newly standard safety and driver assists, including automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, front pedestrian braking, and forward collision alert. Is Chevrolet a good buy in 2021? How do you feel about their attempts to limit the lineup to just SUVs and trucks? Answer these questions in the comment section. Like this episode and proceed to exploring 2021 lineups by clicking on the icons in front of you. There is an entire playlist out there. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News, ring the bell and come back as soon as you can.